So you, you need to imagine that I have just come in from sailing. I've taken my sails down. Um, can you see my sail? Mm -hmm. So all this is off. I've tied up my jib at the front. I've taken off my rudder and my tiller as well and I've taken out my centreboard and they're all at the front so they're out of my way. I carry my boat tent which is just a standard, it's, this one is actually a, a quencher pop-up one-man festival tent. They don't make it anymore but lots of people make one-man festival pop-up tents and um, I carry it here and it normally if I'm sailing along the tiller is above it so it compresses down it's not in the way as I'm sailing along and so when I arrive and I want to put it up I um, just unstrap it um, and then under the pop-up tent I have the boards that I sleep on these are just standard fly but obviously it depends what are you doing? I've got a block on my leg. <laughs> daughter's got a spine. <laughs> um, so, the, so it, depending on how heavy you are, it will depend on how light you want to make these. But ideally, they need to be as light as you can make it. Um, so that's why they've got holes in them. Um, I put Velcro on and, and that is only to stop it, the board scratching all the varnish work as I pull them along the, the surface. Hi, Josh. Oh, yeah. But the other thing I need to do is to, to get rid of my um, yard and the sail and everything. So I just use my rollock and I use, I don't know if you can come up this way a bit, Larky. <laughs> I use the halyards to um, just tighten off. So while that's in there, it's, it's in the rollock and then to stop it, in case it, you get windage during the night or it needs, you know, I don't want it falling overboard obviously, I just tighten off the two halyards as, as you would normally if you were sailing. The other thing that I've done is normally with a mirror dinghy, she sails in with her mast in the back position, but I've already just because I just set her up in the car park. I've already moved the mast from the back position to the front position. I can get the pop-up tent in with the, with the mast in the back position, so it's not impossible. But what I find is if you move it to the front position, you have that little bit more room. You also have a really nice shelf that you can use to prepare food on or whatever, you, you know. My tiller and rudder are at the front and I also use that partly to actually secure the um, jib is bungeed up again I don't want that coming loose during the night but I can also put the tiller a rudder on top of it. Wow a, a rogue Lorna in our video. <laughs> okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sleeping platform in partial position. Now I could pull this all the way forward but that doesn't help me because I need to stand up but also, the other thing is I actually only leave it in halfway forward um, until the tent's completely up because in my lockers, which are towards the back, is all my sleeping bag and everything. And I can pull these, once they're under the tent, I can pull these forward at any stage. And so here's my two second pop-up tent. Um, so it, it should take two seconds. So I can keep it in its kind of halfway house position here. This is the front and then I can lie the tent down like that and just kind of go push it right to the back. Yeah sit on it, just stop it doing that. And so then all I can secure to is I've got lots of um, cleats because 
as a dinghy cruiser you have that anyway so I'm just going to secure I've got lots of little lines just off the normal points on the tent that you would normally put guy ropes onto this one I can secure I know how long it should be to secure it around the piece at the back because I've marked it and then that should work and at this point I, I lift the tent over my head put it on a bit like a, a kind of what the Victorians wore the crinoline or whatever they're called so like this and I'm standing now in the doorway the back of the tent is secure and the front of the tent can just come up all I've done now is um, just pleated off the guy ropes at the front pleated off this one here the other one's there so now at this point the beauty of this system is it can be raining as much as it likes but everything I do from now I'm doing in the dry so none of my gear gets wet and I'll also show you the other advantage of this system with the boards which is I can use the interior space the other thing I do is that the inner side of the tent, as with all tents, that the, normally the inner tent is detachable from the outer tent. So I always keep my inner tent detached because it doesn't really make any difference to me on the water. And the advantage of having it, it's just attached at the back and it's attached at the top, but the bottom's not attached because then I can just do that with it and you can see I'm, I can sit comfortably and I can get access everything. So people often say to me where does the rain go? So if it's raining the rain goes where it would go if it would go when I was sailing along. The rain just comes down and goes into the bottom of the boat. Things like this the tent cover I don't care if they go wet so they can go just in under there and I've got some storage. I also um, have bags in my lockers. This is my sleepy locker. So I've got my tent, my, my no, not my tent, my lilo, my inflatable pillow. And I would have my sleeping bag, but actually it's not on board at the moment because it's airing after going away. Um, but normally that would all be in there. So I can get all these things out and, um, and all, everything I want. I, at this stage, I'll get it out. And anything that, you know, I really, so clothes, things I'm going to sleep in, I'll just keep in the tent. Um, things like food, cooking stuff, I'll keep in waterproof bags, which I'll put at the front here. They're not here at the moment. My, things like my buoyancy aid, if I'm not going to need it, I can stick underneath along with the tent cover. Because that's the out of the way space. And if it rains, that'll get wet, but... We don't care. So I always shut these lockers before I pull the platform forward. And then now I'm here, there's my two platforms. I can now, I'm getting ready to go to bed. I've done my cooking, I've had a nice evening socialising. I've done a bit of admin. And I just pull this one forward like that. So there we are. There's the platform. So then I can pull my inner tent forward like this. And the final piece of the platform for when I actually go to sleep at night, because this inner tent will come all the way forward, is that I use my centre board across like that. And I can go to sleep and I've got the full length. But I'm not going to do that now, it's not very comfortable for me, so I do that right at the end. So the centre ball can stay out there. I've got, I'm here, I've got my sleeping bag, in this case my sleeping bag liner out. Um, my pillow, I'm ready to go to bed, so I leave my shoes in the bottom of the boat. It doesn't matter if they get wet. And you can just do that. Get my, oops, get my, my centre board, like that, this gives me that extra space, pull this forward, 
Bradford, people often say, can you lie full length? And I don't know how tall you'd have to be before you couldn't, but I'm about five foot seven and a half. And as you can see, I can lie full length and no space at the end. And actually, you could pull this forward, I could come further up. So I can lie very comfortably. Um, there are only one other thing I need to say about this whole arrangement. And then at night, I never do this up completely on the inside because the only thing that really worries me about the pop-up tents is if your boat for any reason did capsize and you were zipped up in your tent and it was filling with water and you were in a sleeping bag, I think you it wouldn't be very nice to say the least. So I always just, uh, I tend to shut the outer one because I can escape from there and I always leave this slightly open, um, just particularly at the bottom so that I know that if I needed to get out in a hurry I wouldn't have to be unzipping anything. The other advantage of the pop-up tents is I don't have problems with mosquitoes or bugs at night because I just go in here and apart from the very bottom where I don't zip it up, you know, having the inner tent keeps everyone out. So thank you for watching and uh, if you can share it if you liked it and if you can, uh, if you want to see any other videos about other things you'd like to know uh, about my boat, um, people are quite often interested in how it reefs so I might do one on that. Um, but anything else, um, do drop me a line uh, and uh, put your comments on. Um, as long as they're nice. Okay, thank you.